Hey guys, so here is the April 2017 Paper Pumpkin. This Paper Pumpkin was designed by our CEO of Stampin' Up! Sarah Douglas. And um, there was a lot of hype and excitement over the kit, so it has finally arrived. And if you follow Stampin' Up!'s YouTube page, you probably have already seen it. But um, I, of course, will go ahead and do an unboxing with you and then do the projects that the kit was intended for. And typically a week later, I will come back with alternative projects. So let's go ahead and get started. I love the black and white box. And then this is one of the new in colors, Lemon Lime Twist, I think it's called, <laughs> that will be available to customers starting June 1st. Uh, so first of all, uh, it was said that there was going to be a free gift in the paper pumpkin. The free gift is these little mini watercolor pencils. Um, if you do not have these, well, the, the full size, which I have somewhere here, the full size, they are, you could, they were in the occasions catalog. You could purchase them and then they were out of stock and then there was a hold on ordering. So like right now you cannot order these, but they are going to be in the new annual catalog. So, um, you know, they're not, just because you can't order them now doesn't mean they're not going to be um, available later. They will. But in the meantime, you get a free little gift. And I wonder if that's why they included this free little gift. Anyway, so the free gift is the watercolor pencils, which is nice. Um, last year, I guess they got a full-size stamp set, which I have to say I was kind of hoping for. <laughs> I have two boxes of the watercolor pencils. So although this is nice... It's just more watercolor pencils that I already have. <laughs> but if you don't have them, this is great because the watercolor pencils are awesome. So definitely a plus if you do not have them. Here is the stamp set. You have some uh, hand, and I believe this is Sarah's handwriting. So you have, let's see if I have something white to put this under. This is kind of crinkly, but you may be able to see anyway. You have some dots, some like hand brushed lettering. Um, you, best, and then it has R, thank, happy for, mom, love, the, or the, dad, so much, teacher, happy birthday to. So a lot of little words that you could put together to make a variety of sentiments. So this is nice, especially for being such a small stamp set. You can do a lot with this. The ink spot or stampin' spot is basic black which is nice to have. And with the watercolor pencils, obviously basic black would be your choice to um, do some watercoloring. So here is the kit. It's called a Sarah thing. And it's a nice big kit. You get some, a great amount of supplies. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and then we will take a peek at what's inside. All right, so the kit comes with several, uh, two baggies and, oh no, my envelope ripped. Hmm. And then some really fun envelopes. So you get, I think 12, yes, 12 envelopes. And I love how, whoops, the front already has, since they're black envelopes, it has the white area to address your envelope. So you get these patterns. And this is the new in color, the Lemon Line Twist. So it looks like you got four of three different designs. I like the splatter, which is a lot of fun. So there are supplies in here to make 12 cards, which is awesome. Then you get your card bases. And they just look to be basic black. Sorry, my camera cut out. So what I was saying, I don't know if the camera caught it. You get 12 black card bases. They're black on both sides. Then you get a colored uh, instruction sheet. So this is lovely. And it gives you steps. There are two different, three different types of cards you can make and it gives you directions on all three, which is nice. And then for the little embellishments, you get a thing of washi tape, which I love the black and white striped washi tape. I just think it's classy. And then you get some, oh no, one of mine broke. Hmm. I'll have to see if we can still use it, but maybe cover that side up or maybe I can glue it. 
That's a bummer. So then you get these really pretty sparkly flower embellishments. Let's say you get four of each color. So that these are pretty and they are hard like plastic. So you get those. Then you get these sheets of adhesive glue dots, which is nice because this is more than enough. Um, so this you can take for other projects. You get some Stampin' Dimensionals, which is always nice to have on hand. Then you get these little um, sentiment, well, not sentiment strips, but, well, yeah, they could be sentiment strips. I'll show you the sheet. So they used them for here. And then they just did a fishtail banner on that one. So for to stamp your sentiment, you get four. Or mine stuck together. It appears to be four, two to each sheet. Then you get the heart. They're already embossed. So when you watercolor, there'll be watercolor resist. So I don't, yeah, you can see that. So the heart. And then you have the this pattern. And then you just have a watercolor, just plain watercolor panel. Then you have these little, oh, never mind. These four are for this one card, these four strips. And then these are your little sentiment banner dies, uh, banner, whatever, die cuts, make 12. And then you get these card inserts. Your card pan, uh, card bases are black, so they've included 12 of these white inserts to adhere to your card so you can write a message, which is nice. It's a nice detail. Then you get some uh, leaf stickers to go with your flowers. And then you get some of these pattern papers, just four of them, because you use them for one card. Okay, so I'm going to clear everything off and then we're going to make a card, one of each card, so you can see what the project was intended to be. And I'll see you in a second. All right, so I've separated all my supplies and I have one of each of the three cards that um, you can create in this kit. So we're going to start with one, obviously, first. Let me put these aside somewhere. And here is the strip of uh, cardstock. You have your heart, a card panel for the inside of your card, and the card base. And then I have two flowers over here to the side. And then I'm gonna bring in my leaf stamp sets. Now for my ink, you're using basic black, but I'm actually going to bring in my full size basic black ink pad. So for my card base, I'm gonna go ahead, it is already sco scored. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and use my snail adhesive. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the liner. Might as well just get that out of the way. bring in a work surface and this is just a laminated piece of computer paper and then I have my uh, watercolor pencils that came in the kit and the colors they use are the colors aren't, aren't listed on here but I think this is melon mambo rich razzleberry I could be wrong I don't remember oh I have the full size here so yes melon mambo rich razzleberry but you can, of course, use any color combination you want. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to take melon, no, rich raspberry, the purple color, and I'm just going to scribble. And then come back in. I'm coming in with the melon mambo now. And I just love these watercolor pencils. I use mine quite often. I have the paintbrush that came in the kit and I have a bowl of water over here that I have off to the side and I'm just going to go ahead and go in and blend out my color and I'm not being I'm kind of being sloppy with it 
um, if your ink color gets on the embossed part, you can easily wipe it off. It's not a big deal. So I think that looks horrible, <laughs> but I don't know what the deal is. I felt like even though I used two different colors, the colors came out looking the same. So typically, in my experience, I, I can never go back in and add more color. It messes, it peels the paper really bad. Uh, we're going to continue with it. Maybe once I put it together, it will look okay. We'll see I have some major pilling in my paper um, so I definitely don't want to add any more water but we'll see once it's together if we can make it work because I don't I hate wasting something that I can't easily replace okay so the next part is you take this panel and you kind of smooth out the edges when I tore it from the other piece these edges were kind of rough so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our basic black ink and get a stamping block. I'm going to take the dot stamp, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Go ahead and ink that up at the top here. back down here okay and then we are going to take I'm going to say I'm going to say love well it's the same sentiment they use in the example but we're going to say love you so much okay then we go ahead and stamp there's always a backside if we mess up right here okay then I'm going to take some of the washi tape go and add a strip to the bottom and you can either trim it or just fold it behind the back side then we're going to take the card base adhere this down and since they gave us a ton of little glue dots this is what I'm going to use okay then we take our heart and I'm going to go ahead and pop this up with some dimensionals. And I'm going to use um, quite a bit, more than I really like. But since this is this watercolor paper and it's kind of warped, I want to make sure I have pretty good coverage. So we're just going to... One more. I know that is a lot of dimensionals. That looks good. And then what I have two flowers. And again, I'm going to use these. There is a smooth side and a rough side. Um, I know Sarah, when she was doing the card, she said it here, put the glue dot on the rough side, but I actually like the rough side better. It's more sparkly. Where this, um, 
the sparkle is on the surface where this is more in recessed, whatever. Um, and I, I wonder if the smooth side of the glue dot would stick better. I don't know, but I like this side because the sparkle, it, the light catches the sparkle more. So we're going to do this side. And I'm going to kind of stick this. I had a little ink smudge that I don't really like. So I'm going to stick this right here. And then I'm going to add a glue dot to each of the panels on the purple. And then go ahead and adhere this to the top of that flower. And if you notice this, how it's kind of coming up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a glue dot. Like I said, my paper is really wet. I probably should have heat dried it with my gun, but that would require patience on my part. So, hmm, flower. So that seems to work. Press down really hard. If it does eventually pop up, I will probably take my fine tip glue pen and fix that. But there's the first card. Um, I'm not really happy with the heart. The uh, If you do it, try different colors. In Sarah's video, it came out a lot better. I think in the sheet here, let's see if it'll focus. It came out a little bit better. Um, I wanted more separation of color and I don't feel like mine really has that and I don't like that at all. And my paper peeled a lot. So just something to think about when you are putting your cards together. We'll go ahead and move on to card two. Okay, card two, I have this piece with the embossed in the uh, top left-hand corner. I have my card insert. Oh, and you know what, guys? I forgot to add leaves here. Whoopsie. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> Sorry, I was so uh, concerned about it not sticking that I completely forgot. There we go. Okay, moving on. I'll have to fix that in a second. You'll see final shots at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold my card base. Adhere this down. You can use your snail or use the million glue dots you get, which is very nice in the kit. We'll use my snail since it's quicker for this. Put this aside. I have my flower, let me put my leaves in sight, leaves in sight, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my work surface and go ahead and attempt to replicate what they did in the example. This time I'm going to press a little bit harder so there's more pigment, that way I don't feel like I have to come back and add more color because like I said, that just, it doesn't work for me. Let me know if you have luck with it. You know, am I doing something wrong? I've dried it in between. Mm -mm. It just, the paper does not like it. All right, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and start from the bottom. Okay, I already feel like this is definitely, the ink is definitely, the ink, the um, pencil is definitely blending out better, a little smoother than the heart. So it was probably completely user error, my fault. This is more what I'm used to when working with the watercolor pencils, which, like I said, I love the pencils, so... Um, if this is your first time trying them, I just... I think they're awesome. I added a little bit too much yellow, but that's okay. Let's see if we can bring in some of the pink to add a little bit of orange. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is take my paper towel and kind of 
rub over the embossed area. Now, I got out of the lines a little bit. I wasn't really paying attention. It's like I can't focus on two things at once today. So, my mistakes will just become tips for you guys. <laughs> But when you're doing this, if you can see here, I got out of the line. So just be careful not to go over the line if you don't want that look. Um, in the example, theirs was pretty much perfect. So, oh well. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my washi tape again. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere a strip to the very bottom. I fold it over and then if there's a little bit of overhang, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my stamp. Now if you have a MISTI or some other stamping positioning tool, I suggest you use that. Because this is watercolor paper, so it might be, um, it might not be the best to stamp on. Well, it isn't the best to stamp on. But if you have a stamp positioning tool, you can go ahead and use that to help you because then you could stamp multiple times. Okay, so I'm going to take my basic black ink pad and this sentiment's going to be cutting it pretty close. So hopefully we can fit it all on there. And let's hope it stamps okay. All right, not perfect. There's a little splotchiness here. Let's see if I could reline that up. All right. So not perfect, but for the sake of the video, geez, we're going to keep going. All right. And I did want to add some more dots. This should be easy enough. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and add my little yellow flower, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add the leaves, and I'll kind of just place my flower the way my leaves are. Okay, go ahead and add some glue dots to my flower. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hear my flower right there. And then I'm going to take my snail and with watercolor paper you want to make sure that you get each side closest to the edge because the paper just naturally wants to warp once you add water to it. We're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, not bad. Definitely lessons from my mistakes. Be careful not to go out of the line, and if you have a stamp positioning tool, definitely use it for the sentiment. And I would probably stamp these, each sentiment separately. Probably make better alignment. But overall, pretty cute. I do like this kit. I do like the color scheme, the style. It's definitely me. Um, just for some reason today, I'm, I'm a little off. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the third card. All right, here are my supplies for my third card. I have my little banner, my plain piece of watercolor cardstock, my pattern paper, the stripes, and then of course my card panel. Let's do this first. Okay, so I'm gonna do like the example it is for the best teacher. It is nice to have a teacher word in a sentiment set. All right, we're gonna put that aside. Then I'm gonna take my work surface again. 
I'm going to take my piece of watercolor paper. Now there is a rough side and a smooth side. Let's try. Let's try the smooth side just for the heck of it. So I'm going to take my yellow, which I'm sure this is a Daffodil Delight maybe. Yes, Daffodil Delight is the yellow. Okay, so that's good enough. Not as good as the example, but <laughs> we're going to go with it. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of washi tape. Now, if you like smooth edges, you could trim it. I like the rough edges. I like washi tape to look like washi tape. I'm just going to take a strip just like that. And then go ahead and use, take my sentiment, use my dimensionals. Actually, first, let's take the dots and add some ink, ink splatter. All right, now I got some stray ink marks. The uh, way to avoid that is don't press your stamp so hard in your ink pad. Now, what we're going to do is take some dimensionals, pop up our little sentiment, and I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece, go ahead and adhere it down. You can use the glue dots you got in the kit. That's why we have so many is for stuff like this. but. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use my snail for this big surface. And then we can take this. I'm actually going to... I thought about popping that up, but I'll go ahead and lay it flat. And you can lay this like this way or nice and straight, however you want to do it. And then we'll go ahead and ink our, or stick our sentiment down. And there we go. Not bad. So here's that card. And the only mistakes that I made were these little extra splotches. That's from uh, pressing too hard in my ink pad. And so I get ink on the parts that aren't supposed to be stamped. So if you avoid that, doing that, you will avoid that look. But overall, the cards came out okay. Um, I definitely do like this kit. This is probably, this is only my third kit ever from Stampin' Up! And that's not including the starter kit. You know, when you sign up to be a demonstrator, you do get a paper pumpkin in your starter kit. Um, so technically, this could be considered my fourth. Um, but anyway, this is my favorite by far. I love the look of the cards. I love the style, like I said. So, um... To be honest, I probably will not have an alternative project for you guys because I really like this kit. I want to play around some more with some different color combos and stuff like that. So um, I won't have an alternative project this month. This I signed up for only a three-month subscription. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to renew or not, and that's only um, because of finances and stuff. Not because I don't like the paper pumpkin. Paper pumpkin's awesome. But, um, so we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and learn from my mistakes at least. And, um, enjoy your paper pumpkin for April. If you are interested in joining paper pumpkin, the link will be below. And if you do purchase a paper pumpkin, I will send you goodies for the Card Kit Club. And if you do place any order with me, make sure to use that hostess code that is below. I would love to have you as a customer and send you free goodies in the mail for ordering with me. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.